Welcome to Colorado Mesa University, located in Grand Junction, Colorado, and home to some world-class landscapes and amazing outdoor adventures. Here at CMU, we are home to some very real students who boast some very unreal talents. We've asked a few of them to put their skills to the test, and along the way, we'll have some faculty explain the science on how they make it happen. I'm your host, Tristan Dockstader, senior acting and directing major, and this is the Maverick Challenge. Today, our challenge will have the students climbing the walls, literally. We are gonna have these guys climb to the top of a rock wall and be judged on three characteristics. The technical proficiency of their climb, the creativity of their route finding, and their time. Their fellow climbers will be the judges. So, let's see who can inspire the most envy in their climb. Introducing our climbers for today, we have Camille Olson. Camille is a senior at CMU based out of Minturn, Colorado. She has been climbing for 19 years, so I guess that means that she's been climbing her entire life. Up next, we got our hometown hero, Sam Jordan, coming out of Grand Junction, Colorado. Sam is a fifth year senior studying mechanical engineering at CMU. Fun fact, Sam began climbing at the CMU Outdoor Program and hasn't stopped since. All right, so with us here to learn how to climb today are three more students, and they're gonna be watching these guys climb this route, and then we're gonna get them on the wall. I think we're gonna do the black one. Yeah, it's harder than the other two. A lot of times you'll go through and you'll just like kind of try and mime the movement. I think a lot of people just try to visualize where they want their hands to go, but most of your pulling power is gonna come from your feet. What route did you guys choose here? We picked the black one. It's got some small holds, and it looks like it has some Fun movement. We're gonna send it off to Dr. Brian Holsterman, who's gonna tell us about the physics of climbing and the safety. Thanks, Tristan. My name is Dr. Brian Holsterman. I'm an associate professor here at CMU. The main force involved in rock climbing is friction. There's friction between just about any surface that's in contact with each other. The rock climbing shoes are often very sticky. They stick against the wall really well. When you're belaying, there's a rope that kind of goes from the person climbing up to the top and then back down to the belayer. So the force of friction between the rope and the carabiner is what allows a much lighter individual to safely belay a much heavier climber. Let's see if our climbers can actually take advantage of the force of friction to keep themselves on the wall. So who wants to go first? I'm gonna go first. Okay. Feeling good, a little nervous, but excited. This might be important. Left, right, left, right, left. Big left. Big left. <laughs> I found you. Yeah. Good job, Camille. Sam, your turn, so we'll see how you do. I have a hard lead to follow. Camille's a very good climber. We're locked, loaded. Cool. Ready to go? <laughs> Pretty well. The holes are a little bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. All right, good job, guys. How do you think you did? Um, I think pretty good. When my foot popped off, that was a little nerve wracking. And up at the top, when I thought I could reach it, but I couldn't. But I feel like I recovered pretty well. 
I also had a foot slip near the top going for that last move. Sam climbed faster, not because he made less moves, not because he climbed faster, but his clips were smoother. So it was much more efficient, which overall made the whole climb easier for him. Camille, the movements that you made, you were using your hips, using your toes, using your hands, side pulling really well. So the style points definitely go to Camille. Sam did it much more efficient and then climbing, everything is about efficiency. Yeah, I'm gonna bread. give this one to Sam. All right, time. good game. Good game. Good game. Right, yeah. good game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. So what do you say we get these students here climbing down, teach them a few tricks? So what you can do is you can wrap this extra length over here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Put your left foot up high. Yeah, you're doing great. I went a lot further than I thought I would, and I want to try again. Use your toes. Remember to use your toes. I'm ready to come down. <laughs> if you're up there and you don't give up on the route, that's half the battle. I'm glad that I made it to the top. It was definitely worth it. Up next on the Maverick Challenge, kayakers are going to take it to the pool to get on a roll. <laughs> 